Hello, adventurers! I'm starting off this episode of Outer Wilds in my ship because I like a bit of a change of environment. It's very pretty in here. I like my ship. It's like my home away from home. Like, I don't even know what my regular home is. Did I have a regular home on this planet? I guess I did. Never went inside. The ship is my home now. We got quite a bit of info on here, so that's for sure. And a lot more links. So we finally got the last connection to the Ashwin project here, which is nice. We got um, the Ash Twin Tower designs as well, so let's read this real quick. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although men in Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. I feel like I should have paid more attention. I read this before in the High Energy Lab. Oh no, did I read this before? I feel like I read something like this before. Um, each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Alright, cool. There are tower designs in the High Energy Lab that are each warp receiver's location. I did, because I went to the High Energy Lab and saw this. I really should have paid more attention to it. But now I can kind of see the designs of the towers. So this would be the uh, the twins. This would be the... Uh... I'm not sure what designs correlate to what, actually. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Uh, that looks like Brittle Hollow, though, because it's kind of blocky. One of these is... Oh, this one looks like a cyclone, so that must be Giant's Deep. I'm not sure which one of these is Timber Hearth. It might be this one that's Timber Hearth. Whatever, we'll figure it out. I should have paid more attention when I was exploring. Black Hole Forge. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. Okay. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Allograss twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. A Nomai named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. This results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping on the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. And then the Ashwin project. The central chamber was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell that all my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ashwin. That's the advanced warp core, I guess, to go backwards 20. Wait a moment. I need to get an Ash Twin. <laughs> Every memory recorded by Nomai statues transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. And an advanced warp core is approved for installation in a central chamber. Alright, we got more to explore in the vessel, as mentioned before, and more to explore at the Sunless City, and then just the Ash Twin. Only three places left to go, really. At this point, done with Brittle Hollow. Don't need to go back there. I have plenty to do on the Ember Twin and the Ash Twin, so let us go check those out wherever they may be. Where's the sun at? I got lost. Okay, down here. We'll just manually fly. We can handle that, right? I hope so. Oh, let me mark it. There we go. Now, the only problem is that it'll actually take quite a while for the uh, equator of this place to open up. Maybe I should go inside of the Ember Twin real quick and just kind of see what I missed in the Sunless City. I say real quick, but it'll probably be a bit of a pain to get there. But you know what? I can always try my best. Why not? Well... I took too long to find my way in, and now my ship got launched into the Ember Twins, so you know what? Um, stuff happens. <laughs> I guess I'll be chilling in there for a while. Whatever, you can hang out inside of there, ship. As long as you don't blast off into space, it's fine. I do want to see what's inside of this building right here, because I haven't explored this one because it was locked from the upper floor. I believe to get in, I need to go in from the bottom, which means I need the sand to get lower. Or I can go in through here, which is um, functioning right now at this moment. Ah, and here's the cacti room. So the odds of me getting through this unscathed are exceptionally low. Let's see, I can try though. Oh no, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Okay, well, let's read this real quick. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and idea progressing with the sun station plans? Oh, I've already read this before. Alright, it's fine. You guys can pause if you haven't read this yet, but I've read it before, so it's fine. 
Let's just kind of try and sneak our way through this. Whoop. 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 Fun Gangnam style. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, that's fine. I've heard that I do have to get through this, is a thing. But this hurts real bad. Oh, come on. Oh, I did it. That was quite difficult to do. But I've made it into this teleport. Oh, that's what I needed to do to get... I think this is going to go to the sun station. It has to, right? The amount of effort it took to get in here. It has to go somewhere useful. Or not the sun station, the, uh, the ash, the ash twin project. I've got not much oxygen left. Where are we? Where are we right now? This, I'm very nervous about. This is somewhere new, that's for sure. That's a door I've never seen. Sun station! We're in the sun station! Seven minutes, seven minutes, 26 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. So this is the sun station. I've never... Hmm. Wait, is this the part of the sun station I couldn't get into before? 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. Wait, 281,000 years ago? Jesus! Never mind, the Nomai were way before our time. Way before, jeez. Mind blown, oh man. Yep, we're on the sun station, that's for sure. We're on the part of it that we couldn't enter in the past, I, I believe. Opens emergency door. Okay. Haven't I, but I manually landed on the sun station already. Is this just another way to get here? This might just be another way to get to the sun station. Well, regardless, let's go, let's go fly our way over here and take a look again, just in case. Man, that's super cool, though. I love that. I'm certain we've been here. <laughs> the person who wants... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's uh, everyone's favorite Nomai. Science compels us to explode the sun. <laughs> okay. Pot pie is really cool, though. Just saying. Alright, we have been here. So this is kind of pointless for us. Solely because we're just too good. I don't think we're supposed to easily be able to land on the sun station. Like, I feel like that's normally not supposed to be done. But, but, there is an achievement for doing it. So I'm guessing it's something that can be done. But the normal way to do it is to go through the, uh, the cactus room. Which is good to know. Anyway, we should probably go back because I don't think this is where we need to be. Alright, now that we've figured that out, didn't help us too much, but... Hmm. We need to test out more of these teleporters, I feel. So this one is the one that is for the Ash Twins, I believe. One of these is broken. We haven't tried this one, though, I don't believe. I'm not sure if this one's broken or not. The ceiling is broken, but the teleporter might still work. I'm not sure. Or is this the one that was like slightly off center? This might be the one that was slightly off because it wasn't aimed perfectly at the middle of the Ash and Ember Twins. Is it a bad idea to stand here whenever the sand is coming right over my head Because since this one's broken? I think it is. I think that's a bad idea. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Let me back down. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, we're alive. Whoa! Careful! I can't take much more cactus. <laughs> we'll try the other one. But that one doesn't work. It's, it's straight up broken. And I don't think there's much I can do to fix that. I mean, if I go up here, let me take a look. No, there's not much I can do here. Alright, let's see how this works again. Because I, I think we tested this one once, and it just teleported us into the, uh, into the ash one over there, but... Or the ember twin. But we'll, we'll try it out again. Okay, so now we're over here. So we're just somewhere around the side of the uh, the Ember Twin now. Yeah, so this, this one isn't a big deal to be at. Where does this go, anyway? 
just down into this valley. Yeah, that's not a big deal. This is the escape pod. I've been here. Alright, let's warp back. Because this isn't where we want to be. I feel like the other teleporter on the, um, the Ash Twin Tower might be the one that's supposed to teleport us into the uh, into the Ash Twin Project. And over here is the high energy lab, right? I've been in there, I believe. If I am not mistaken. Alright, not too big a deal for that one. Ow. Now let's just warp back, I guess. We're a bit low on oxygen and fuel, which is not ideal. And our ship is not exactly close by either. Okay, so this one's the one for Timber Hearth, I believe. Or is that one the one for Timber Hearth? The one with the trees inside is the one for Timber Hearth. This one have trees? No, so this one was the one for uh, Giant's Deep, or was this one... I can't remember, Brittle Hollow this one might be. And then this one was for Giant's Deep, for sure. Alright, we'll check it out. We don't really care about the Giant's Deep one. I'm going to suffocate, by the way. 100%. Wee Sand! Wait, why is this sand solid? Why did that sand suddenly turn solid? That was a bit weird. There must be a way to warp into the Ash Twin Project from there, right? I'm actually not sure what I need to do now. I thought if I went to the Black Hole Forge, I'd find the Black Hole cores, and I could bring that to the, uh... Or a warp core, and then I could bring that to the vessel. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. Do I need to... How do I get a new warp core? Is a thing. And there's not much left for me to explore, either. I, I might just go to the vessel right now and see what is the one thing that I missed in there. Because it might help me out. Yeah, no new info in there. Let's go to Dark Bramble and see what info we missed at the vessel. Well, we're back at the vessel. There better be something in here because I spent some time and effort getting here. Alright. I had to navigate those darn anglerfish again. I remember back when I didn't even know how to get past them. Oh, how times have changed. Alright. Let us fly on in. So, I was told in the upper floor of this room, I believe, there's something I missed. Up there? Like up here, you mean? Oh, you're right! Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Comments, thank you so much. To any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message, it's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy. The gloaming galaxy? What the heck? We found that black rock. What the heck is black rock? Black rock suns are fairly stable and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, I know you will be on your own. Hana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on his way, its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskar. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskar's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It was a very long time ago, but yes. 
my clan's ancestors searched for Eskov's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hi, Sop. I hope you aren't comparing Eskov's story to my clan's vessel. Oh, that's Neem. Eskov, hi, Sop. I hope you aren't comparing Eskov's story to my clan's vessel. <laughs> there you go. That's a perfect voice for him. Neem, my friend. We feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our war. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence that we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved to hear your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Well, we're gonna die very soon, because our star is gonna blow up very soon. Felix. This is as Oh, Felix. I love Felix. He's my favorite. He's my favorite science boy. <laughs> oh, he's from Eskal's vessel. Oh, it's a good thing he didn't blow up, am I right? This this is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We, we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you. We need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Up. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah, about that. <laughs> well, you know what? At least Felix survived and managed to escape pod his way out of here, so... So this vessel we're in right now is Eskal's. So Eskal's vessel is the one that nearly got blown up, and then they warped over here to find the Eye of the Universe, and they got caught in Dark Bramble, and then they escape potted out. Hmm. Interesting. I guess no one came to rescue them. This is a darn shame. Okay. Talking about es the disappearance. Wait a moment! Wait a moment! If this is Eskal's vessel, this is the vessel that disappeared. This is the one. But why is there a message about Eskal's vessel inside of the same vessel where they're talking about the disappearance of Eskal's vessel? I don't know, it's a bit weird. Um... So this is the vessel that vanished. It vanished in the Dark Bramble. Because it vanished in the Dark Bramble, the signal just vanished for them, so there was no way to get to them. Dark Bramble is terrible. Hate this planet. It's the worst. Ay ay ay. Let me take a look at this warp core real quick. Let me get a closer look. Okay, so it's broken. It's missing... I don't know what it's missing. Is it missing both the, the white and the black... Um, the black hole crystals. If I fit both of those in, would it fix it? I'm not sure. Do I need to take this back with me? I'll take it for now, just in case. I doubt it, but... Because I'd need to get to the high energy lab if I wanted to do anything with it. And, the, and I can't really do that because the high energy lab is a pain to get inside. In fact, I forgot how I got inside the first time. I think I have to go into the Ember Twin, like the Sunless City, to be able to do it, to be honest. Can I put this down somewhere in here? No, I can't. Let's read this. So we got new info here at the vessel. I found the derelict Nomai vessel within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. Oh, those were incoming messages that it heard. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai worried about the signal might disappear if they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Okay, so that's the disappearance of Eskal. They didn't tell any other clans where they were going, so they warped to find the eye of the universe. And that was how everyone, how the Nomai found our solar system, I guess. And meanwhile, the other Nomai clans, whose signals they picked up on the comms, um, 
talked about how their vessel just, just disappeared and no signal, no trace, and they were all regrouping somewhere else on a different system um, to sort of chill out. So the Nomai might still be alive, um, just in another star system, relaxing. Um, whereas these guys, all, everyone who got stranded in this star, um, solar system ended up dying. So Eskal's vessel um, ended up dying. Big sad. So the only place we have left with new info is a sunless city, and then we just have the Ash Twin Project. How do we get into the Ash Twin Project? Okay, I know that. I know that. How do I get into the Ash Twin? Hmm. So they don't have any cracks in it. You have to teleport in. There must be a teleporter to get in there. And it's a supernova proof shell as well. So once the sun explodes, if I'm in the Ashwin, could I survive it? That's an interesting concept. Hmm. I'm curious about all this stuff. And I'm not sure where to go in the sun the city either. Okay, so the first tower design that looks like the sun is the sun station. That makes sense. And then the... Um, okay, so we have Timber Herf at the bottom middle, I believe. Giant's Deep at the bottom right. Brittle Hollow, I believe, is the bottom left. So top right must be the Ash and Ember Twin tower. Which means that it has... Uh, I'm trying to figure this out. So they talked about one of the towers being slightly misaligned. Is there any way to get it to line up? And one of them is broken. So the one that works teleports me to the Ember Twin. To the surface of the Ember Twin. If I want to get inside the Ash Twin, though, it must be the other tower, right? So the two towers, one goes to Ember, one goes to Ash. Which means that must be how to teleport in the Ash Twin project. However, um, that teleporter is broken, is the thing. It doesn't work. So I'm not sure how to get that to work and how to get inside the Ash Twin. Or the Ash Twin project. In that case. I am a bit lost now. I'm not sure where to go exactly. Like, there's many ideas. But I'm not certain about it. Also, we're here now, and I don't really want to be here. I'm going to ram us into a wall. <laughs> well... That didn't do much, did it? We're going to blow! I'm gonna damage it more. Master alarm is going off. We're gonna explode! We're gonna explode! It's been a while since we've exploded. We should try it. We should do it more often. It's gonna damage it more. You can never damage enough. Oh! Our ships had a hole breach and now we're spinning out. Oh, it's completely broken. Okay, so it looks like the ship can break in different ways. That's interesting. So it didn't explode and it didn't even hurt me either. I just, it just kind of like, the ship just broke so much that it's, uh, oh, 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 I see. That is actually pretty neat. I didn't know the ship could do that. Well, I'm guessing this is uh, unrepairable at this point, so... Uh, and imagine this happening to you. It's like, you're in this horrible foreign planet where you're like teleported several times into this horrible place surrounded by carnivorous anglerfish, and then your ship just breaks in half. And you have no way out of here. That would be terrifying, wouldn't it? What is this? What is this? Is this, is this the other part of my ship? This is the other half of my ship, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, my ship's fine. It's fine. Is this crystal not working either? It's a bit weird. Can we access our computers? <laughs> nope. It's real broke. Ship's real broke right now. But you can re refuel. Let me return my suit. Who needs it? Whee! <laughs> uh, 
Good times. Okay, we're piecing things together now. The last place we have left to go is the Sunless City and find out whatever bit of info is there. After that, we just gotta piece together how to get to the Ashwin Project and how to get to the Eye of the Universe, and that's it. That's all that's left. My prediction is two more episodes of this and we'll be done. That might not be true, it might be, two, might be four, but we'll see. Regardless though, that's it for this episode of Outer Wilds. If you all enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like, comment, or a subscription. Um, also, expect a new series to start sometime soon, perhaps while Outer Wilds is still going as well. Once Outer Wilds is done, it'll probably replace it, but for now, expect something new. I'm excited, and I'll see you all on the next adventure. <laughs>